Activity aboard the ISS in 2018 started in earnest on January 12th, when the SpaceX CRS-13 Dragon cargo vehicle was unberthed from the Nadir port on Harmony and released with Canadarm2 the next day. The spacecraft deorbited a few hours after it was ungrappled, splashing down off the coast of California, carrying 1,850 kilograms of equipment and science experiments. On February 13, 2018, Progress MS-08 launched atop a Soyuz 2.1A rocket from Site 31-6 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. After the standard two-day rendezvous progress, orbit, Progress MS-08 docked to the aft port of the Svesda module. Just east of the Philippines. On February 28, 2018, Soyuz MS-06 undocked from the Poisk module with Expedition 53 aboard and returned to Earth just three hours later without incident. A month later, on March 21, 2018, Soyuz MS-08 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. And there you can see the engine starting to fire, ramping up. The second umbilical power already separated. Engine 80% and the liftoff. Drew Foisel, Oleg Artemiev and Ricky Arnold taking off on their way to the International Space Station. Getting a great view of those first stage engines as they light up the night sky. That first stage delivering over 930,000 pounds of thrust. 20 seconds into flight, uh, engines are steady. 20 seconds. After the standard two day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz MS 08 docked with the Poisk module. Progress MS-07 undocked from the Pierce module on March 28, 2018. It continued in orbit conducting experiments until it was deorbited on April 26, 2018. On April 2, 2018, SpaceX launched a Dragon cargo vehicle atop a Falcon 9 from Launchpad 40 at the Kennedy Space Center for the CRS-14 mission. It was the first time SpaceX reused both the Dragon capsule and a Falcon 9 booster. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Dragon was captured by the Canada Arm and burned to the Nadir port on Harmony. The Dragon stayed docked until May 5th, when it was unberthed and moved away from the station. It deorbited and landed safely off the coast of California. On May 21, 2018, Orbital ATK launched the 10th Cygnus spacecraft, named the SSJR Thompson, atop an Antares 230 rocket from Wallops Island in Virginia. The P1 lower outboard, no 
After a three-day rendezvous orbit, the SS J.R. Thompson approached the station, was grabbed by the Kennedy Arm, and berthed to the Nadir port of Unity. On June 3, 2018, Soyuz MS-07, with Expedition 54 aboard, undocked from the Rosfiat module, performed the deorbit burn, and landed safely on the steppes of Kazakhstan just three hours later. Three days later, on June 6, 2018, Soyuz MS-09 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. One. See the engines igniting there? And liftoff of Soyuz MS-09 carrying, uh, MS carrying Serena Anand Chancellor, Sergei Prokopiev, and Alexander Gerst to the International Space Station for a, a six-month stay to uh, Everything is not complete. Uh, research on board the space station. Twenty seconds. Good. Uh, help us here on the Earth as well as in space. We're fine. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz MS-09 docked with the Rosfiat module. Yes, On June 29, 2018, SpaceX launched a Dragon cargo vehicle atop a Falcon 9 from Launch Pad 40 at the Kennedy Space Center for the CRS-15 mission. SpaceX did not try to recover the Falcon 9 booster. Vehicles pitching downrange. After a three day rendezvous orbit, the Dragon was captured by the Kennedy Arm and berthed to the Nadir Port of Harmony. On July 9, 2018, Progress MS-08 launched atop a Soyuz 2.1A rocket from Site-316 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Progress MS-08 docked to the Pierce module. This is a view from the uh, high-definition external viewer camera showing the Progress closing in. On July 15, 2018, the station's Canada arm grabbed the Cygnus J.R. Thompson and unberthed it from the Nadir port on Unity and released it. It deorbited 15 days later over the Pacific Ocean. The CRS-15 Dragon stayed docked until August 3rd, when it was unberthed and moved away from the station. It deorbited and landed safely off the coast of California. On August 23rd, 2018, Progress MS-08 undocked from the Svezda module and spent a week in orbit before deorbiting over the Pacific Ocean. On September 22, 2018, the Japanese resupply vehicle HTV-7 launched atop an H-2B rocket from the Tanegashima Space Center. We have no transmission. It's got to be a jump up. We still... Igniting the SRBAs and lift off. HCB rocket 7号機は平成30年9月23日午前2時52分27秒にタネガシマ宇宙センターから打ち上げられました。We have a lift off of the H2B launch vehicle number seven with Colonel Rory seven aboard from the JAXA Tanegashima Space Center at 2:50:27. As it approaches the 30. After five days in orbit, HTV7 approached the station. 
is grabbed by the cannon arm 2 and burrows to the nadir port of harmony. On October 4th, 2018, Soyuz MS-08 with Expedition 55 aboard undocked from the Poise module, performed its dual orbit burn, and landed on the steppes of Kazakhstan three hours after undocking. On October 11th, 2018, Soyuz MS-10 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. And there is liftoff of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Obchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first time to uh, launch to space and Alexei Obchinin's second. A few minutes after liftoff, the crew reported feeling weightless and the mission control declared a booster had failed. According to Roscosmos, the primary cause of the failure was a collision that occurred during the separation of the carrier rocket's first and second stages. Shortly after, a contingency was declared and the spacecraft carrying the crew performed an emergency separation, returning to Earth in a ballistic trajectory, during which the crew experienced up to seven times normal gravity. But it was followed with a successful landing. The abort occurred at an altitude of approximately 50 kilometers, and the spacecraft reached an apogee of 93 kilometers and landed 19 minutes and 41 seconds after launch. Both crew members were safe after their intense re entry, and Roscosmos began investigating immediately. On November 6, 2018, HTV 7 was unberthed from the Harmony module and released into orbit. After a series of trajectory control maneuvers, the final deorbit burn completed on November 10, 2018. On the HTV was the HTV small re entry capsule, which survived re entry and was retrieved by a recovery ship. On November 16, 2018, Progress MS 10 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. After the standard two day rendezvous orbit, Progress MS 10 docked to the aft port of the Svezda module. Contact confirmed, capture confirmed, docking confirmed at 1028p. On November 17, 2018, Orbital ATK launched the Cygnus craft, named SS John Young, atop an Antares 230 carrier rocket from Wallops Island in Virginia. And we have liftoff of the NG-10 mission, taking Cygnus to the ISS. We've got engines at full power and uh, nominal attitude. Engine performance after startup looks nominal. Good avionics power, good TVC. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the SS John Young approached the station, was grabbed by the cannon arm, and berthed to the Nadir port of Unity. That uh, robotic arm will be the one capturing the vehicle today at the controls is Serena on and Chancellor of NASA. We're now retracting 10 seconds from On December 3rd, 2018, Soyuz MS-11 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the ISS. Thrust level, throttling up. And liftoff. We have liftoff of Anne McLean to beat St. Jacques and Oleg Kononenko blasting through the Kazakh sky to the International Space Station. Copy. Everything looking good so far. Good first stage performance. The booster separation was successful. And the orbit nominal. After a six-hour rendezvous orbit, Soyuz MS-11 docked to the Poise Station is in free drift. Good contact and capture of the Soyuz MS-11 craft. 11:33 a.m. Central Time, as the station was flying 251 statute miles. On December 5th, 2018, SpaceX launched a Dragon cargo vehicle atop a Falcon 9 from Launch Pad 40 at the Kennedy Space Center for the CRS-16 mission.
after main engine cutoff for Miko. The first stage attempted to land back at the Kennedy Space Center, but made an emergency ocean landing due to a hydraulic pump valve issue which caused the grid fins to become uncontrollable. After a four-day rendezvous orbit, the Dragon was captured by the Canada Arm and berthed to the Nadir Port on Harmony. The last act of 2018 came on December 20th, when Soyuz MS-09 with Expedition 5657 aboard undocked from the Rosviet module, performed the deorbit burn, and landed safely on the steppes of Kazakhstan just three hours later. By the end of 2018, Roscosmos had recovered from the Soyuz MS-10 booster failure and was ready to continue launching in 2019. While SpaceX planned to test its new human-rated Dragon 2 spacecraft on its first demo mission. <laughs> 